Hello guys. Today I'm going to be doing a brown smoky eye makeup. I already did my eyebrows as you can see. So first of all, I'm going to be using my Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Primer and my Becca Primer. This one helps me to control oil on my T-zones. So, so here I'm just going to take a little bit of my Rimmel London Primer. Just a little bit. And then my Becca primer. So with Becca, it's very, it has a very thick consistency. So what I do is I just take a little and then I just dab it on there. So I just apply on my nose. For my foundation, I'm going to be using my MAC Match Master and my Maybelline New York Super Stay Full Coverage. I already applied my foundation all over my face. And I also applied to my eyelids and this will help my eyeshadow have more base to hold on to. So for my concealer, I'll be using my NARS concealer in dark to caramel. So I'm using my, my NARS for my concealer today. And I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Stick. I'm just going to add a little bit of my e.l.f. concealer. So next, I'm going to be baking my concealer with my Arrow CMA No Color Makeup Powder. So right now I have on my Arrow CMA No Color Powder. It's a baking powder. So while I let that bake, I'm going to top top it off with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I use this method because it gives me a very smooth and satin finish. So for my smoky eyes, I'm using my Morphe palette for my smoky eyes, my Morphe 35 palette, 35R, 35R palette. And this color is really nice. This palette, I love it, see? You can't go wrong with any of the colors in here. So I'm going to start with the the darkest color right here. I'm uh, actually going to start with this one right here. This is the darkest color. So I start with the darkest color and then I walk my way through to the lightest color. So for my base, I'm going to use my e.l.f. concealer. I like to use concealer for my base for a smoky eye it gives me a very nice hold to my eyeshadow i'm just going to spread this out so now i'm going to apply i'm just going to dab on my brown color i start from the center of my eye and then i walk my way through out and now i'm going to add the next lighter color lighter shade to this this looks like a black but it's actually brown so because I have my concealer on, it's really easy for it to just grip onto my eyeshadow. That way I don't have any fallover. Well, see, it doesn't have any fallover. So now I'm going to go in with my next color that is a little bit lighter than this to, to top it off on the top right here. So the next shade to this, this is the one I just used now right here. So the next shade to this will be this one. So I'm going in with this one to blend it at the top right here to give me that transition look. So I'm going in with this. After I drag it down, then I go up to cover up my remaining concealer. See, so that way you don't have any white concealer showing at the top, see that? So this is the easiest way that you can actually apply your smoky eyes so 
so now I'm going to blend the edges of my eyeshadow so now on the bottom of my eyes I'm going to go in with the darkest shade so for my eyeliner I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place see that this is the darkest right here so i'm going to take a little of this i'm not using a pencil eyeliner for my eyeliner so i'll use the darkest shade of my brown from my julius place and i'll use that as my eyeliner so for my smoky eyes i don't really use eye pencil for eyeliner that's just me because everything is already dark if i add a, a eye pencil here it's not going to make any difference. So I just use a dark brown eyeshadow to create that illusion of an eye pencil here. So it's not an eye pencil, but it's the darkest shade of brown. I just put it to the top of my eyes right here and it gives me a more intense brown on the end. So I'm going to add my Juvia's Place eyeliner. Oh, they have a very nice eyeliner. Juvia's Place has the beautiful black eyeliner so i'm going to use this for my waterline right on the bottom right here now i'm going in with my makeup forever for my contour line now i'm using my laura Mercier translucent powder and my setting powder is completely set you can see For my contour line i use the darkest shade of my makeup forever pro finishing powder and for my finishing powder i'm going to use the lighter shade to finish up my face i'm using 178 for my finishing powder and so next i'm using my maybelline lasting fix to set my face Now I'm going in with my blush. So now I'm going to use my Extra Dimension Skin Finish by MAC. So next I'm using my lipstick. I have two colors. I feel like using a red, but then I feel like I should use a nude. Sometimes it can be challenging to pick your lipstick. I'm going to upload a video on the best and easiest way to pick your lipstick for your makeup. So I'm going to use one of this color. So next I'll be using my nude lipstick from MAC. It's called Honey Love, just a nude lipstick. So there you have it.